Prowler is an adventure-ready electric trike that is equipped with 4-inch knobby tires, a beefed-up off-road suspension, and a unique lean technology. With 8 inches of ground clearance and a powerful 6-kilowatt electric motor, this scooter should have no issues climbing steep hills and conquering rough terrains. When needed, the motor is good for making quick sprints to the speed of 22 miles per hour. The installed battery unit can offer up to 25 miles of riding, which is a good estimate considering the scooter's cargo carrying capacity of 275 pounds. If you need more range, you can opt for an additional 60 volt, 20 amp hour battery pack that will increase your estimated riding range to 50 miles. While operating this vehicle, you can check all of the required data, including the riding speed, travel distance, current battery charge, and etc. by using a neat handlebar display. Since the Prowler is considered to be an adventure vehicle, it's most likely to be transported for long distances inside a truck or an SUV. For this situation, the model's handlebars can be folded down for a hassle-free transportation experience. This year, this French manufacturer is bringing an updated version of their three-wheel electric city scooter. The list of major changes includes the introduction of a redesigned front with a rounded LED light and a series of tech upgrades. Now, the tech package of this electric scooter features a 100% digital connected dashboard, a smart battery management system, as well as an optional smartphone app. Even though the scooter is primarily intended for city use, its 37-degree tilting rear suspension, as well as quality hydraulic shock absorbers, are there to soften your ride and provide a smooth riding experience for you and your passenger. The acceleration of this model comes courtesy of two brushless wheel motors, capable of putting out the peak power of 13.2 kilowatt. Such powertrain specifications make this three-wheeler suitable for reaching the top speed of 75 miles per hour. The Model 3 scooter is offered with a quick charge option that could be used both for 230 volt charging at home as well as at a public charging station. With the quick charging option, you can top up the installed 75.6 volt 6.5 kilowatt hour to the full in about three hours. Currently, the model will be offered in three distinct color options, namely white, intense black, and champagne. Skyer Motors is an Israel-based research and development center that specializes in the design and production of electric mobility vehicles. One of their most recent inventions is a three-wheel e-scooter with a unique suspension system. The scooter's powertrain consists of two motors that are hidden inside the rear wheels. The engineers claim that three-wheel setup will improve the riding stability compared to a regular two-wheel scooter, while the unique suspension system will let the rider lean into corners with ease. The e-motor duo is said to generate the peak output of 5 kilowatts, which is enough to propel the rider to the maximum speed of 62 miles per hour. This upcoming urban mobility vehicle is capable of carrying riders up to 220 pounds. The installed 60-volt, 15-amp-hour battery unit of the ultra-fast scooter is good for covering distances of up to 25 miles. This year, the collaboration between BMW, Cube, and SoFlow has resulted in a creation of a new urban mobility vehicle called the Concept Dynamic Cargo. The three-wheel design was chosen for this vehicle in order to provide enough space for a large cargo platform in the back. This platform is said to support a variety of attachments suitable for transporting cargo and luggage, carrying passengers, or performing other leisure activities. The concept of a tilting cargo tricycle is not new, although there are several products on the market that have proved the benefits of systems that let you lean into corners. BMW, Cube, and SoFlow have tried to apply this idea in a slightly different way. They decided to install a rigid, non-pivoting axle on the rear wheels to keep the cargo stable at all times, while the front end of the bicycle is connected to the rear end via a pivot axle. The majority of the bike specifications are to be unveiled as we edge closer to production, 
What is evident now for sure is that this model will have disc brakes, front suspension, an electric pedal assist, and the overall carrying capacity of 485 pounds. Brake Force One is a subsidiary of the ZF Group, a large car parts maker from Germany that's been working on developing a new type of urban mobility vehicle. Their creation is translated as Truck Speedster and is aimed at those who need to transport cargo, packages, and groceries for short distances while spending as little time and effort as possible. In its essence, the Truck Speedster is an electric tricycle with a tilting suspension that lets you lean into corners, thus shifting the load of the cargo and protecting you from tipping over. The electric mobility vehicle is equipped with a 4 kilowatt rear hub motor that can let you ride at speeds close to 28 miles per hour. The speed was restricted in order to make this electric trike comply with the L2E U regulations. At this stage of development, the trike will have no pedals and will be powered by throttle controls only although having a set of pedals would be a useful feature to have in case you run out of charge and have no charging station in sight. When not in use, the vehicle will automatically engage a parking brake and the tilt lock so the cargo can be unloaded with ease. Even though GoTrax is already a reputed presentative of the personal mobility manufacturing segment and has an extensive lineup of electric scooters, their G-Pro model is different from all other products they created up to date. G-Pro is a battery-powered three-wheel scooter. According to the manufacturer, the introduction of the third wheel allowed to improve the riding stability, while the wider deck made the model suitable for beginner riders. It should be noted that the scooter's smooth operation is greatly aided by an excellent rear suspension system and air-filled tires. The scooter's 300-watt motor is hidden in the front wheel and is powerful enough to propel the rider to the speed of 15.5 miles per hour. Any electric scooter needs reliable brakes, and G-Pro is well set in this department, thanks to its powerful disc brake system. You'll be able to ride this three-wheeler for up to 24 miles before you need to recharge the battery. It's a 36-volt, 10.5-amp-hour unit made by LG. The model is equipped with a digital display that you can use to monitor the battery life, current speed, and the anti-theft digital lock status. Please note that G-Pro tips the scales at 52 pounds, so it may not be the most lightweight and easy-to-carry option on the market. Leaf D05 is a tilting three-wheel scooter that received a variety of features that may excite anyone interested in innovative urban commuting vehicles. Unlike many three-wheelers we've seen before, Leaf D05 has two wheels in the front and one at the back. Vehicles with such wheel placements are usually referred to as reverse trikes and offer a series of competitive advantages. The most evident of these advantages is the independent suspension, also known as the tilting system. It allows the scooter to lean into corners, easily climb steps, or remain balanced while riding on rougher terrains. The D05 is shipped with a 1.2 kilowatt electric motor that is hidden inside the back wheel. With such motors set up, the model is capable of reaching the speeds close to 25 miles per hour. When the model's 1.25 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery is fully charged, you can expect to ride for up to 45 miles without looking for a power outlet. Other noteworthy features of this model include an LCD panel, GPS tracking, and a connected smartphone app. Originally funded via a crowdfunding campaign, this California-based company has grown into a noticeable player on the market of personal mobility vehicles. The brand's lineup is currently represented by three electric board models. All share the brand's signature three-wheeler design and foldable construction. The second-generation Rover is the most capable model in the lineup that is brought in motion by an 1800-watt motor with a five-speed setting. With its help, the scooter can reach 27 miles per hour speeds and climb hills with up to 30-degree inclines. The model gets an independent front suspension, a dual spring rear suspension, and three wheels with fat 10-inch tires. Such specifications make it suitable for riding in mixed terrain conditions. On a paved street, the Rover can travel up to 40 miles on a charge.
Urban mobility scooters do not have to be limited to the pavements alone, and this is clearly proven by the all-new Boomer Beast 2D scooter. Its unique all-wheel drive drivetrain opens up possibilities to ride on dirt, snow, and sand with the range of up to 30 miles on the regular model and up to 60 miles for the deluxe model. One more important difference between the two modifications is the battery type. The former is juiced by a lead acid unit with 400 recharge cycles, while the upper trim gets a proper lithium ion pack with 1000 cycles. This three wheeled scooter gets two motors rated for 500 watts of continuous output or three kilowatt of combined peak effort. The max payload for the Boomer Beast 2D is 330 pounds, so the rider can carry some extra cargo or bags with groceries on the rear rack while sitting in a comfy adjustable seat with armrest. We would really like to hear your opinion about the lineup in the comments section. Don't forget to mention other exciting models that we may have missed. Rate the video with a like, subscribe to the channel, and ring that bell. More exciting EV content is on the screen. Just follow the links. See you soon.